Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Neon Sundown, a twin stick action roguelite in kind of the broken build simulator genre going on now. Kind of the vampire survivor likes everything like that. I don't know if this was in development um, ahead of this popularity or not, so it's hard to say, but it's very much in that similar kind of vibe, but in a spaceship shootery kind of a way. So let us pop on in here to the abyss. You can see I've played a little bit here. I wanted to test it out. I couldn't quite tell if it was, you know, going to be good or not. I, I vetted it a bit. It seems like it's it's fun enough to show off at the very least. It's coming out on the 11th. The devs reached out to uh, basically say, hey, you want to check this out ahead of release? Here you are. So in we are going to go to the abyss here. We'll play as the basic class. Jack of all trades, master of none. They all have their own kind of vibes to them. Uh, but alas, in we go. There is a weird, like, the, the meta progress system is very strange. You kind of unlock these one-time use upgrades. It's very, very interesting, but alas, uh, yeah, we are, we are a ship. We are blasting other ships. Stop me if you've heard this one before. We do have a little bit of a dash, which, honestly, now that I think about it... Okay, what do we got? Bullet spread, scythe, split shot. Let's go with the scythe. Uh, but I want to actually, now that I think about it, can we? Yeah. We have a little tiny dash. I don't know if it moves through projectiles, or I doubt it moves through enemies. I, I say projectiles because, yeah, there, there's like, I believe there's a couple enemies that will actually shoot at us. Uh, explosives, multi-shot, inc increase ship projectiles, but lowers their damage. I mean, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. I think, uh, yeah. So basically, you can unlock different levels, everything like that. The longer you exist on a level, the more unlocks you get, like meta unlocks. It's kind of a neat, simple, elegant system for it here. The one thing I've noticed is, boy, this slows down the game a lot. The way that uh, it, it needs to go pop up a little bit quicker, I think. Because, um, yeah, it, it happens a lot right away. Let's go with experience gain. That being said, let, let's make it pop up more. Let's get some experience gain. I don't know how much we're going to care about the dash or not, but I'm, I'm happy it's there. It's basically like increase your movement speed by a crazy amount for like half a second. Split shot projectile, but reduces fire rate. So that is... Ah, let's just see it. Okay, so our projectiles split into other projectiles on target hit. Because I was going to say, yeah, it really seems like the same thing as, mul as a multiple projectile, but no dice, no dice. All right. Uh, increase the damage of all weapons. That's I mean, does that include our standard, just like our normal bullet, too, I would assume? I don't think that's just implying, like, weapons we get from the cards, like the scythe. Which is also just a nice little, nice little thing there. Cooldowns is attack speed. Let's go with a multi-shot. Are we shooting at three now? We should be. Okay, we're we're chunking though. Oh, we're chunking them. Oh, we're chunking them. Experience up, sure. Alrighty. But yeah, we, we got the whole experience bar. Fill it on up. Get the pick. You know, th this is all familiar stuff at this point. Do we want attack speed? 0 0.03 attack speed. I feel like this amount of damage seems much more important. Just raw damage at this point. We are ripping through enemies. Ripping through them. Orbital speed up. You know what? Let's just get an extra bullet. More bullets means more split bullets, too. So it's, it feels kind of like an exponential increase. Ooh, baby. Bullets explode on impact, but increases cooldown. It slows down how fast we attack in half. I'm going to just increase my cool scythe's orbiting speed. I'm sure we'll try, like, a more ex an explodey build soon here, but... Yeah, holy moly. 
slowing down your shots in half, though. I'm down, I'm down with this. Like, the amount that it decreases our damage just doesn't seem that bad. Because we're also gaining an entire extra bullet, you know? So, if we're gaining an entire extra bullet, are we really even losing damage? I'm not sure. Oh boy. Oh, push him away. Increase orbital speed. I'm going to do this because uh, we'll, we'll show it off why. So you may be familiar, you know, if you play things like Vampire Survivors, about the evolutions, everything like that. There is a, there is indeed a version of that in this too, but it just comes from, uh, from upgrading it. I don't think you have to have two different cards, specific cards to get the synergy. I could be wrong. But I believe that we just need to level it up a certain amount of times. Good. How much does this make a difference? 0 0.03 fire rate. I don't know if that makes it that big of a difference or not. Hello, fools. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Little chaser fools. These guys are so annoying. These guys are so annoying. You want to not? You want to not? You want to not? I feel like I need more fire rate. God, they suck. Ah, ah. Oh, they're... Boy, they're... Boy, they're annoying. Okay. Get in there, get the experience. Don't let them chase me away from them. Don't, me, don't let me chase me away. Don't let me chase me away. Reduce bullet spread, but also reduce damage. This... 0.1 damage. Oh, wait. Oh, that's 10%. I thought it was 0.01. I'm at 69, though. Do I want to ruin it? I will. We would ruin it with the other thing we took either, anyways, so. What's up with you guys? Do they, like, dash at me or something? What the hell's that sound? It's like... It's like a sword she thing. Dreadnought! Oh, we got a boss. He's shooting at me. Oh, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. Focus fire, focus fire, focus fire. Oh, that's the, that's the sight. Just doing that. It's kind of really tough to see the bullets here. Wrecked. So these are the, uh, the meta progress crystals, where if we break them, we get the ability to buy a, a one-time use upgrade thing. More damage, sure. Ooh. I'm just so used to playing, you know, like when we were playing Vampire Survivors on stream, everybody's saying that the experience game is a trap. I don't know if that's just, if that's true. And I also don't know if that would be true in this game or not. It's different games, different games. Let's go with more multi-shot. Seems to be working out just fine for us. And by that, I mean it seems to be kind of broken. So we have to break the... Uh, yeah, we have to break those to get the crystal. Which is like our meta currency. But the, I will say the thing about the consumable use thing, it's, it's interesting... I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it. I, I don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll see. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, God. This is chaos. Okay. Rip through him. Rip through him. Oh, I got hit there. Uh-oh. 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 Getting spicy. Getting spicy. Getting spicy. Let me in. Let me in! Scythe. I will say, I kind of like that the dash... In a, a lot of other games, I don't like it when a dash is just 
increase your movement speed by a lot for like a millisecond. I like it in this game. It feels like your exact precise movement is so important. If it's going to be a dodge roll with no iframes, I think that that's my preferred method, actually. If it's not going to have iframes. Oh, God. There's too many of these. There's too many of these, and they move far too fast. Would you stop it? Like, I, I can't kill them in time. And they're coming from literally every direction. What an annoying enemy. What an annoying enemy. When are they going to stop? When are they going to stop? I can't do anything. Too fast. Too fast and they're homing. That's a really stupid enemy. I got to be honest. That is a stupid enemy. Uh, did we? Oh, heck. Oh, heck. No new card unlocked. So, let's see here. We have Fear Factory, another one unlocked here. If we last five minutes here, we unlock a new arena. Let's play as the Speedster. Actually, after uh, getting... Okay, we can... Well, we have a lot of these crystals, so let's see. Uh, let's take a look. Each arena has their own kind of vibe here. Hope you like swarms. This arena is mainly comprised of small, fast enemies that group up and attack all at once. So... Piercing? Cooldown? It's by... Hmm. Chance to avoid incoming damage? Maybe. Increase your ship's starting armor by 10. Sure. I don't know if these can stack. Oh, let's just buy a little bit of everything. How about that? Just just for fun. We, we can't use all of them. We can only use a limited amount. Yeah, we can. Li you can use five. So we go with the piercing. Can we do two of these? You cannot do two of the same. So we got damage. I don't know if we need the damage as much. Armor. I don't remember what this one is. This is amount of experience gain. And let's get experience radius. How about that? How about that? Speedster. Very fast, son of a gun. So yeah, we got the... I'm seeing the piercing there. Maybe we did want the damage. Maybe we did. Give me experience right away. Yeah, immediate level up. Give me experience again. Just keep leveling up immediately. Supercharge it. Give me another one. Give me another one. Increase damage. Sure, I'll, I'll take the increased damage. Whoop. Get in there. Alright, we're, we're going to stop taking the experience at some point very quickly here, but... Weapon cooldowns. So that's fire rate. Endless Barrage of Shuriken sounds really nice. I actually don't know what it does. Just fired a Shuriken off in, the, in a random direction there. Let's go with Multi-Shot. Seemed like a very good pickup. Experience game. We, we, we need to stop at some point here. Overclock. Do we though? Because we're honestly, we're kind of ripping. I wonder if Overclock can level up. Like, maybe... Maybe it can. Maybe it's not just the weapons. Explosives. That's a lot of cooldown. I don't care. Oh, I might care. Safeguard. Defense. They're kind of getting pushed around. That's a little scary. Reduce cooldown. Go, 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 go. Sure can. I want to try and see what they're like. Right now, I'm not impressed by them, but that can change. 
I will say the explosions make things kind of tough to, to parse. With the bloom effect and everything on, on uh, every living thing. Makes it a little tougher. Orbital speed of the scythe. Aye, aye, aye. More bullets. I'm just, I'm thinking about that whole, like all the tiny guys that are kind of going to come in and get us. Oh my god. Do you see the, the way the explosion pushes them away? It's terrifying. Terrifying. More multi-shot. Yeah. Multi-shot is going to be the way to go for those little chaser guys, which I can only imagine will be here, and when they are, I'm terrified. Cooldown damage. Just raw damage at this point. At this point, raw damage. Whoa. Look at the explosions pushing them around. Uh... I'm going to keep on going for overclock, even though it seems like it maybe doesn't make sense. Because I want to see if it evolves. Oh, here's the little guys. Here's the little guys. They do die really quickly, which is no surprise, I guess. Oh. Okay. Oh, God, they're coming from him. He's summoning 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 him. He's dead. We gotta be careful where we're pushing them with our explosions. It could really bite us in the butt very quickly. More damage. Okay. Is there another spawner guy? I think there is. Look at them getting ripped apart, though. I can't break them. I want my meta progress that I've rightfully earned. Okay. Throwing star, go. Yeah, we need to make our way into that guy immediately. The little things he summons don't, um... Don't drop experience, anywho, so... I'm gonna do it because I'd like to see a level up on it. That'd be cool. Oh no! Oh my god! Not today, Manta Ray! Okay. I would like to see you impress me, Shurikens, though. Seems like they're maybe starting to do pretty noticeable damage, right? Today, Manta Ray? Not today. I do love that we can literally just brute force right down the middle there. That feels amazing. I don't want to reduce my fire rate is the issue. Like, split shot is cool, but I, I, I don't want to reduce my fire rate more. I feel like we're playing with it. We're playing a dangerous game at that point, you know? Like, whoop. I played Nova Drift. I know what that can do to us. <sighs> I know how much that could ruin us. I feel like the damage card is a little overtuned. Just like raw damage upgrades are always... They're, it's always one or the other. They're either busted... Infinite always takes, or they're just... They're kind of unexciting. I will take Safeguard at this point. A little bit of, little bit of health to play around with. Yeah, see, the crystals that we have to break are kind of just getting in the way. Like, maybe that's on purpose, but it's just kind of like... Sort of annoying, more than anything. Yep. Come on, we must have lasted long enough to get some kind of an upgrade, right? Oh, it's only been five minutes. 
It always feels like so much longer in games like this. Multi shot, yep. I'll take another. Come on. It's almost like enemy skill oh, can't take damage from two bullets at the same time. I don't think it's true, but... You would think if we hit them with all of our multi-shot hits, they would be dying really fast right now. More! God. That was scary. We are unleashing a very large amount of explosions. Okay, experience goes away. Which I, w I guess I wasn't entirely suspecting. In a lot of games it does, but, you know, I feel like in a lot of these... These types of games, I feel like they kind of stay forever, routinely. But it could be a thing where it's just like, man, we can't have any more dang uh, particles on the screen. The bloom, our, our bloom bandwidth is off the charts. Oh, I thought that was a boss up there. Okay. Uh. Uh. Manta Ray, not today! Oh, jeez. One shot, one kill. Okay. Okay, one shot kill. Gotcha. Understood. I, I see where we're at. We got Bomber Blitz unlocked, though. Which, if we last for one, <laughs> one minute, we get a new ship. Tread carefully. This area is full of bombs that will explode on impact. Interesting. Okay, so let's, um, let's see. Bombs that explode on impact. One owns... Let's just... I'll tell you what, let's just own one of everything. If we can. Owned. Owned. None owned. I... Oh, well, cause I don't have... I... Okay. I was like, why can't I do this? Owned. Alright, so let's go Bomber Blitz. Continue with the Duster. I wouldn't mind the move speed, experience, experience gain, damage. Fire rate. Let's try that out. So it's straight up a different... Enemy. Wait, can we not kill this thing? Unkillable? Maybe we don't go multi-shot for for once. Do these things not die? Are they actually unkillable? They're, okay, no, they just take... What am I supposed to do with this then? Can I break the bombs? I, maybe. They're, they take forever right now. This is, a, this, this is a problem waiting to happen. Look at this. This is ridiculous. They take so long to die, and I can't get any experience here. Like, I, I can't kill anything. map sucks. Like, this map sucks. What the hell? I'm gonna start again. Bomber Blitz. Let's continue. What the? And then, see, that's the... Ah, oh, God. That's what's so annoying. Now this is waste. Oops, we already had one of those. Let's go back to Bomber Blitz. Oh, we got Chonko. I, I'm gonna go with Speedster again here for a second, though. We will get Chonko. Sure. Flat armor. Sure. I'm just gonna go with those. Okay, so I feel like piercing is gonna be kind of required.
yet. To get through the bombs. Okay, there we go. We just needed that start because honestly, that start that start was insufferably annoying. But if we can keep them all kind of over to the same corner where they don't fill up the whole map, that's not that bad anymore. I do want to play different than last time, though. Like, I'm playing the same ship, but I want to play a different build. Maybe focusing more on Scythe could be cool. For this map, if we can get it as an option. Of which, Overclock probably wouldn't matter very much. We'll get Shurikens. Let's focus on Shurikens Scythe, maybe. If we can. Oh, God. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Come on, man. Get it there. Hey, we're not getting too much experience here, either. Whoop. Can we break the bombs? I thought we could, right? Like we can, uh, we can obviously break what's placing the bombs, but this map is now chock a block full of them. This map honestly is really bad. <laughs> like, I, I would like to. Okay, we'll, we'll try out Chonko, I guess. Uh, but yeah, look at that. We just. That's the problem with this system, is now we kind of, like, just wasted all of those. Uh, let's, we'll try it again, though. Okay, so I will say this... Okay, alright, that changes things, though. Beating this stage is is a four-minute endeavor. I will say that makes it... That does make it better. It is intended. Withstand a lot of firepower, dish out huge, high-damaging bullets. Oh, God. That's different. It is straight up different. So, basically, like, I want to make a build where we don't have to move. Figuring out how to do that would be huge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who would have thought Chonko basically can't move at all? Who would have thought... Okay, piercing projectile on this is so nice. Got the little, the Chonko dash. We kind of do have to move if we want to get experience though. Sort of seems like the, the ship you get on each level is almost like a good thing to, uh, to play on that level. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's... Because, like, the fast ship on the last one definitely makes a lot more sense. Are the bombs insta-kill? Or was that just because we, uh, didn't have a whole lot of HP? We're back to the minute. Back to the minute mark. There's a lot less leveling up on this one. Okay. Okay. Get out of here. Feels like the multi-shot is is a little bonkers too. Multi-shot and damage seem maybe a little overtuned. I'm not I don't hate it. I'm happy about it. Okay. The bombs are really starting to stack up in a way where I can't do anything else. Can't move too much. Especially as such a chunky lad. Okay, we're at, we're about to hit the two minute mark, which is the next un unlock. Oh god, I I thought I died. Do the shurikens go through everything? It seems like they do. They do. I think that they're actually really really helpful for this level, like really big. Uh oh, oh it's it's it be speeding up.
Gotta focus fire down those guys. The closer in towards the middle they get, the more bombs are on the screen, which is obviously a problem. Okay, I don't hate this map as much as I did just a few moments ago. Now, like, the moment I realized that the uh, the wind condition is four minutes, it became less annoying, and it became a bit more of an interesting puzzle. If it was, like, a last ten minutes, last, you know, thirty minutes thing, this level would be so annoying. But it's not that. It's not that. That's not what it is. So it's irrelevant. Also, the ship is just fun. Okay. Three minutes. Uh, screw you. Coming in here at a million miles an hour. Don't you dare. Gotta hit him with two. Okay. Doing just fine. Uh-oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, just fine, just fine. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, don't, don't touch any bomb, just in case. Just in case it's an instant kill, don't do it for experience. Just don't worry about it. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. The piercing was genius, and obviously, like, like this, um... The kind of, like, splash attack that happens behind the enemy is really, really useful. Four minutes! Four minutes! Let's go! We did it. I'm curious how far we can go, but I'm, I'm happy enough. I don't want to penalize into that, any of that other stuff. I don't really feel like I care about the armor too much, but... Okay. Oh. I'm, like, kind of struggling to see how you could play this almost any other way than having just ridiculous piercing. I can't, I can't move out of this circle anymore. Wait. Are we blowing up bombs now? Wait, are we actually... We're, are we doing it now? Do they just have a ridiculous health? They just have rid oh my god. They just have a ridiculous amount of health. They can be blown up. Okay, bomb guy goes first. Oh my god. I did not think that was going to be the case. I feel like the shurikens are not doing anything anymore. They might have helped me early, but they're not doing anything anymore. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so much experience up there. I would love to get it. Uh, ah, 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 ah. Do I need damage? The dying in one hit. I don't know if I need damage. Rip. Oh my god, I'm alive. Well, for two seconds, yeah, I was gonna say. Alright, I'm fine, I'm fine. We did it, we did it. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. What did we, uh, what all did we unlock for that? A new card, a new arena. We got the new ship, obviously the achievement too. An arena composed of armored enemies knock down the shielders and avoid incoming fire from tanks. Did we get any crystals? We got so many crystals. I'm, I'm, I'm really confused on my opinion on this system. It feels woefully inelegant though. Like that, that's for sure. Like, is it bad? I don't know if it's bad, but it's definitely woefully inelegant. It, it feels like it incentivizes grinding, which grinding that you have to keep doing 
like in other games where there's meta progress, you can grind and then it's done. Blacklisted cards. Ah, I didn't even realize. Starting cards level three. Move speed level three. Interesting. Uh secret unlock. We'll try it the basic boy, I guess. So we have to wait. Did it say we have to knock out the shielders? Oh, I didn't even give myself any upgrades, did I? Let's pop back out. Let's go for piercing. Experience, experience, radius, health, and... Just go with raw damage since the raw damage card is blacklisted. So is this really, like... So that is chasing me down. Weird. Okay. I don't know. Multi shot seems maybe over it's too overtuned. Like I kind of just have to take it. Increases the lifetime of all projectiles. I don't know that that's going to be good here. I would like to level up a shuriken someday here, so maybe we can get it. Like, I'd really like to actually level one up. Torpedo, sure. Okay, wait, were we we were able to kill that. So how do we how do we kill it? I'm confused. Are we able to kill it, or...? The shield obviously goes down. It seems like it's still alive. So, I don't know. Oh, God. Come on, I'm trusting you. This is wild. Like, the whole kind of having each level almost be a puzzle is definitely very neat. I wonder how it will impact, like, longevity of, uh, of gameplay, you know? Like, how many different builds can function on the bomb level, for example, the one we just played? How many different builds actually even work there? I'm curious. This... I feel like... Yes, it does work. Okay, that's... Scythe is important there. Okay. Scythe does not get broken. I don't know if that's intentional or... Uh, but I love it. I'll take safeguard here. Okay, get out of here. What? Right now? This early? That is a very early showing of that guy. Okay. I feel like enemy bullets need to really need to be a different color than enemies. It's very tough. To see the bullets amidst the chaos. Really tough to see it amidst the chaos. It just looks like everything else. I'm trying so desperately. I'm trying so desperately to get an upgrade. I'm gonna die from a bullet very soon here. Because I don't really. Yeah, I don't really know. Just, I can just keep circle strafing around the whole map, I guess, but... Yeah, that's just... It's just... Uh, it's impossible to see anything. Anyway, it's this is a neat game with some promise.
That's what I would say. It's got, it's got some promise to it. I think uh, some things being ironed out, quality of life things. Um, I I think a rework of the module system would be a good call. Um, maybe just have it be... Here, here's what I would do. Here is what I would do. Because I like the idea... I, 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 my favorite meta progress is one where you have like three or somewhere between three and five slots and you can unlock abilities to put in there, but you're limited to like five. So this is almost great. I just make it so, make it so infliction costs five crystals, but when you unlock it, you unlock it for good. You know, see what I'm saying? And then you can swap them out. You're still limited like even if you're limited to, if they reduce it down to, th you only get three upgrades. I would prefer that. I would prefer that. It's a lot less fiddly. It's a lot less annoying. Um, and I think it'd be fun because you still do have to sort of swap in and choose what you want to do there. Uh, I do really think that that could be quite fun. Complete dynamo. Interesting. I, I like that there's, you know, the different arenas, they all have their own vibes to them. Um, I think that there's a lot of room for this to get very cool. Uh, again, it's going to be out on the 11th, but that is that for today. Thank you for watching. This has been Neon Sundown. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes. If that is a, something you are into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. I, <laughs> just very bluntly. Uh, I cover so many, you will not run out of great new games to look forward to and to check out. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.